Hello and welcome to Forest Edge Car Club on the 1st of September for the NKRA Grand Finals featuring both the Honda Cadets and the Formula Blues. Here we are walking through the paddock. You can see every single car out on new tyres is the one and only compulsory controlled tyre purchase of the season to make sure everybody is on even rubber for the biggest race of the year. Here you see the standings of the Blue Challenge, which is over and done with now. You see Anthony Cleal winning from Russell O'Neill, Taylor Waldron, Mike Bell, Sarita Schoen being the top five. Those points will be tallied up, given a score, and then combined with the points from today's Grand Finals to make the seedings for the next 12 months. Here we are on board with David Watts, and you can see ahead of us the number four, Toby Cook. That's a seeded number, so Cook's going to have to work some to defend it. Down in 15th in the blue challenge. But here we are, heat number one, and we are going to be seeing the grid pop up any second, and it's going to be David Good in the number nine, ahead of Russell O'Neill, with Stuart Gray and Robin Stones on row two, from Kevin O'Neill, Nigel Vickery, Toby Cook, David Watts, Sarita Schoen, Michael Bell, David Waldron, Taylor Waldron, Mitchell and Duncan McLeod, Anthony Cleal, Ron Schoen, Paul Alexander, Rob Mortimer, and Alex Fortune starting his last event on novice plates at the back. Here we are on board with Bell in 10th place. You can see it's going to get a bit compact, the grid, as they're going to come through the cut through. And we will be underway for five minutes plus a lap of racing. Heat number one at Forest Edge, and the lights are going green now. You can see Toby Cook down the middle. David Watts trying to follow through as you can see everyone heading into turn one, jostling for position. And it is Russell O'Neill leading the way from David Good. Toby Cook looking at Stuart Gray in third. We are on board with David Watts, and he's going to get pinched out over the curb, goes for a big ride. Through goes Bell, through goes Waldron, through goes Duncan McLeod as well. So David Watts not having a good first sector. You can see there Bell and Waldron side by side, just ahead of you. David Watts back up the inside of Duncan McLeod. Now on the back of Taylor Waldron. That's Bell having a poor run. Waldron goes through, David Watts going to follow through as well. So all action straight out of the gate, as that's Kevin O'Neill off on the left. Got a bit jostled out as Taylor Waldron now side by side with the number six Mitchell McLeod. The everything feisty, a short race, lots of time, or not much time to gain lots of positions. And obviously, with the semi random grid, the fast guys will be starting at the back at some point throughout the day. But back up to the front, Russell O'Neill leading from Stuart Gray, David Good, Toby Cook, and Robin Stark Stones breaking away. So we have a top five lead group. And in this train that looks like Nigel Vickery at the front of it, with uh, Sarita Schoen attacking him as here's David Watts up the inside of Mitchell McLeod into the chicane. Through goes Watts, that's up into 10th place. Now he's got his sights set on Taylor Waldron in front. As Sarita Schoen looking at Nigel Vickery, they're side by side. Waldron in behind looking for some space and actually gives Sarita Schoen a bit of a nudge. Waldron trying to go around the outside, he's going to set himself up for the inside of the final turn. Through goes Taylor. Great Shane slams the door on David Watts as here we go again. As you can see, Watts had a poor run there and Michael Bell has got through. The other driver in the blue suit there, the number eight. Definitely making some places up. You can see the train going all the way back. They're Ron Shone and Kevin O'Neill at the back. He's on board now with David Watts. Taylor Waldron is through ahead of Nigel Rippery and Bell going around the outside of Sarita Stone. David Watts looking to follow through up the inside into the chicane. Watts goes through. Sarita Stone down two places. And now the number eight, Mike Bell, setting off after Nigel Vickery, and he's going to go straight through at the very next corner. David Watt's not going to want to wait around. He's going to try and set Nigel Vickery up as well. And Vickery there losing three places in a lap as Waldron, uh, Watts, and Bell all go through and now begin the chase of the next group ahead of them. Meanwhile, Russell O'Neill still leading from Stuart Gray. Top two definitely breaking away. O'Neill and Gray taking advantage of the good grid starts. Toby Cook has made great uh, improvements up from 7th to 4th already and then this massive train that was Anthony Cleal looking like he was making a move on Sarita Schoen there but back on board with David Watts we got Michael Bell ahead of us Taylor Waldron ahead of him and these three have a bit of space and a bit of a target as David Watts up the inside through midget and David Watts now up into that 7th place Mike Bell back to 8th the number 8 
Meanwhile, for the lead, Russell O'Neill defending against Stuart Gray. Gray all over the back of him, wants to start the grand finals off well with a win. Drivers coming from second and third, so they're going to have to work their way up through the grid in the remainder of the day. Looking back there, that's Alex Fortune, the novice on the back of the pack, having made up a few places already. That's here on board with O'Neill into the chicane. Stuart Gray slides through number 16, the Scotsman, up into the lead ahead of Russell O'Neill. So the top two changing around. Can O'Neill fight back? There's some time left on the clock still. So we could see this changing some more between now and the end of the race. Around the final turn. There's an LED timer board up for the drivers so they know what the time is. In the background, it looks like a huge fight. Rob Mortimer in there, Nigel Vickery as well. Both very distinctive. As Anthony Teal attacking Duncan McLeod. David Waldron's in that fight as well. All action already. As Toby Cook starting to break away from Stoddart Stones in third. But David Good has been caught by Waldron, Watson Bell. Then the two McLeods and Cleal have also got clear of this uh, massive midfield pack. As here goes Taylor Waldron up over the curb, over the back of David Good, and Waldron gets spat out to the right. Good bogs down, goes to the left. Watts going to go up the middle into fifth place, goes David Watts. Taking advantage of that situation. Here we go, 50 seconds left on the timer. Stuart Gray and Russell O'Neill have about three laps left now to try and sort out who's going to take the win of heat number one. I think it is going to come down to these two as Toby Cook starting to wane away now, and Robin Stoddart Stone's on the attack. Then there's Watts, Bell, Good, Waldron, McLeod, and Anthony Cleo. We appear to have lost Duncan McLeod from that little train. Not sure what happened to him. Is Cleo up the inside of Mitchell McLeod there into Winder's dip, where he's shown in a nice gap ahead of David Waldron. Back on board with Russell O'Neill. Right the top of the course, going down to the long right-hander, second to last corner, and then. Under braking down the hill into the final turn. Last lap board is shown for Stuart Gray and Russell O'Neill. As Robin Stoddart Stones looking to the inside of Toby Cook. Could have a fight on for third at this rate. As Anthony Peel passes David Good as well in that final corner. As David Watts and Michael Bell both closing in on this battle for third. But I fear they may run out of time unless Cook and Stoddart Stones hold each other up. Mitchell McLeod as well passing David Good. Sarita shown ahead of David Waldron and Rob Mortimer looking at Nigel Vickery. And Alex Fortune, Paul Alexander and Ron Schoen running together. As here's O'Neill into the final corners. Stuart Gray defending the inside. Now one turn to go. Gray goes in a little bit deep but he's going to get the run out. And Stuart Gray is going to take the win of heat number one from Russell O'Neill. And here's going to be very close. Toby Cook just about holds off David Watts for third and fourth. And a start stones and bell and we saw in the background briefly paul alexander off the track in the chicane so alexander dropped down so the results of heat one stuart gray takes the win from russell o'neill toby cook david watts robin start stones michael bell mitchell mcleod david good taylor waldron anthony cleo cerise shown david waldron nigel vickery rob mortimer alex fortune ron shown paul alexander kevin o'neill and duncan mcleod is here you can see david watts almost taking that third place off Toby Cooks and aggressive defending from Cook there running right to the limit. Craziness now we have to reset once again and here comes heat number two with Sarita Schoen on pole from Kevin O'Neill then the Tony Carts of Watson Cook and Nigel Vickery, David Good at Stuart Gray, Robin Stoddart Stones, Russell O'Neill and Rob Mortimer rounding out the top ten ahead of Duncan McLeod whose DNF in race one was caused by a rear bumper dropping out with Anthony Cleo alongside him, then Ron Schoen, Paul Alexander, David Waldron, Mitch McLeod, Michael Bell, Taylor Waldron and Alex Fortune rounding out the grid as Sarita Schoen now starts to back the pack up as they go into the 2x2 two two formation. Round through the cut through and under starter's orders they are, so Schoen will put her foot down any second now. You drop back to number 8, Michael Bell all the way down at the back, you see the cloud of two stroke smoke ahead of us, both the Waldrons side by side. That's Kevin O'Neill going slowly, so he's obviously got a problem already, but Cerise Schoen leads out the first turn from Watts, then Cook, and then David Good looks like he's in fourth position already. Yes, sure enough he is, ahead of Nigel Vickery. Cerise Schoen covering off the two Tony carts down into Winter's Dip for the first time, as that's Robin Stoddart Stones running out very wide. Through goes, looks like it was both of the McLeods. Now we jump on board with Taylor Waldron, looking at the back of number eight, Michael Bell, as we go through the bus stop. And that's a hand up in front of us as Russell O'Neill, as everyone's scatters to avoid him. 
Taylor Waldron making the most of the chaos, gaining a position or two, and now he's on the attack of the mad prop of Paul Alexander. That's bad news for Russell O'Neill, the heat one runner-up. It's going to really give him some work to do in the remaining two heats of the day to salvage a grid position for the final. The cross line to finish the first lap. Waldron looking at Alexander, but Sarita Schoen holding the lead, and her and the two Tony Karts starting to break away as the top three lead group starting to get off up the road as here they are on the way out of Anson's. Stuart Gray up into fourth ahead of Mitchell McLeod, Duncan McLeod and David Good. So they all go as that's Alex Fortune in the, the number 50, the novice, up a few spots. He's ahead of Michael Bell as it stands as they go through the bus stop. Fortune is last uh, event on novice plates before he jumps onto the full yellow plates. There's clearly no pushover as Michael Bell is having to work hard to get past the number 50. As it's up in front, that's Taylor Waldron looking for a pass on Rob Mortimer in the final corner. It looks like he's got it. Across the line to start another lap they go. It's Gray in fourth starting to close in on the top three. Everybody else, that's Mike Bell past Alex Fortune. As now we go back to the exit of Anson. Sarita shown leads from Watts, Cook, Gray, McLeod, McLeod. Now Anthony Cleal ahead of David Good. Robin Stone's having a look at Nigel Vickery as we drop back once again on board with Michael Bell through the bus stop. Paul Alexander in front of us getting a poor exit up the hill. Taylor Baldwin looking at Nigel Vickery ahead as Bell goes for a big send against Paul Alexander. Through midgets and he's going to make it stick. His next target is the number 12, Rob Mortimer, who's actually Bell's uncle. So a bit of a family rivalry brewing there. With Taylor Baldwin also on the move. Back up to the front, Sarita Schoen holding the lead from David Watts, number 17 ahead of the number 31. Watts gets the run though, and he's going to look to the inside as they come down to Winger's dip. Watts through into the lead, but Sarita Schoen switches back underneath, and they're going to go side by side through Anson's and on the route to the bus stop. Watts looks like he's going to break later, going to try and get around the outside. Toby Cook's got his eye in there as well, he's trying to take advantage. Drop back once again to Michael Bell. Nigel Vickery now the next cart ahead of us, as Taylor Walden has checked up out the road. Bell to the inside, through he goes against Nigel Vickery, Taylor Waldron now ahead, looking at David Good, and now the next targets for Bell as Waldron now we are on board with, into Tollies once again, passes David Good, Taylor Waldron makes the place as we start another lap, his next target is the 65 of Robin Stoddart Stones, but everybody else ahead of them is in one big long train for the lead. As it stands, pretty much everyone's in one big long train aside from the two O'Neills, both with problems. There we go, Stoddart Stones, Waldron starting to close up, and Bell already looking at David Good as he goes to the inside of the bus stop. Bell makes up another position against David Good. Now he's got a bit of a way to go, Taylor Waldron and Robin Stoddart Stones ahead. Good falls back again, he's still doing well though is David Good, he's ahead of his main rivals Ron Schoen and Rob Mortimer. Through the final turn once again to start another lap, still on board with Bell running over the rumble strips minute and a half or so to go as it's seen on the clock as here we are now looking from Winger's dip it's David Watts in the lead had a three to show and Stuart Gray now up to third ahead of Toby Cook then Duncan and Mitchell McLeod and Anthony Cleo all on top of each other the Stoddart Stones, Waldron, Bell trying to close in as Nigel Vickery holding off Rob Mortimer again Paul Alexander holding off David Waldron and the novice Alex Fortune all over the back of these two the Fortune not scared to roll up his sleeves and get stuck in here we are back on board with Bell, looking ahead at Taylor Waldron, having a look against Robin Stoddart Stones, through climate once again, as Taylor Waldron down the inside, and Stoddart Stones gives him the room, Taylor Waldron goes past, as there's Stoddart Stones now, doesn't get the run, but sweeps back across to cover off from Bell, back to the lead, Watts still leading the street show, not letting him get too far away, Toby Cook now starting to come under pressure from Duncan McLeod, that's for fourth, Waldron through ahead of Stoddart Stones and Bell, they're running together, then Good. And that's Paul Alexander up the inside of Rob Mortimer, and Mortimer over the exit curve, that's going to really compromise him. Through goes Waldron, through goes Fortune, and that's going to drop Mortimer down a few positions as Bell looking to the inside of Stoddart Stones. It's not going to pay off there. Here we go, now back to the lead. David Watts still leading from Sarita Schoen, but now Stuart Gray all over the back of her as that's the last lap board out, so only one more lap for anyone to do anything. So there we go. For the lead, that's Stuart Gray in second, ahead of Sarita Schoen through Johnny's, and now down towards Winger's dip again. Gray up to second. 
And that's Duncan McLeod ahead of Toby Cook as well, so positions changing for third and four, uh, fourth and fifth. With Mitchell McLeod now all over the back. Looking back to the Nigel Vickery train, that's David Waldron's got ahead of Paul Alexander. Back to on board with Bell as Waldron defending from Stoddart Stones. Bell's in a good position to try and do something here, but around the final turn to win Heat 2, David Watts crossed the line. Stuart Gray's going to be second. That's somebody off in the background. Not sure what that is, but they're under uh, the final turn of the race. I think that looked like Taylor Waldron potentially off. But anyway, the results. David Watts crossed the line, took the win. However, Stuart Gray crossed the line in second, was actually disqualified for failing the post-race weight check. So it's going to promote Sarita showing up second ahead of Toby Cook, Mitchell McLeod, Anthony Cleal, Michael Bell, Robin Stoddart Stones, then Duncan McLeod, David Good, Taylor Waldron, David Waldron, Nigel Vickery in 12th. So here we're going to see what happened. Stoddart Stones to the inside of Taylor Waldron and just not quite enough room there. Both of them go off to the left and there's Robin Stoddart Stones rejoining. Trying to take the path of least resistance. Bell's going to sweep past them both and take the eventual sixth place on the run to the line. And now we move on to heat number three with number 10 Taylor Waldron on pole ahead of Michael Bell as we're back in the pack up already on the second rolling lap. Mitchell McLeod and David Waldron on row two ahead of Paul Alexander, Ron Schoen, Anthony Cleal, Duncan McLeod, Rob Mortimer. Russell O'Neill in 10th had a carburetor come loose which is what caused his strife in the second heat ahead of Robin Stoddart Stones, Stuart Gray, David Good. Nigel Vickery, Toby Cook, the man we are on board with right now, David Watts, and Kevin O'Neill, Sarita Schoen, and Alex Fortune rounding out the grid. As you can see, both David Watts and the number 16, Stuart Gray, back in the pack up a little bit. Clearly trying to keep their noses clean through turn one. And see what goes on ahead as the lights have gone green. And that is a great start from Mitchell McLeod, the number six, already up into second place. But Taylor Waldron leads from McLeod, Bell, Waldron, Alexander, and Cleal is the top six. As they go through the grandstand corner and down towards Winger's dip, Mitchell McLeod looking to the inside already. Up the inside of Taylor Waldron, so the number six to the lead already as that's everyone in behind going side by side. Stuart Gray there looking at the inside of Nigel Vickery through he goes and David Watts going to follow him through through the bus stop. As on the way out of the bus stop, back up to second, that's Michael Bell up the inside of Taylor Waldron at midgets. So Bell up to second, now Mitchell McLeod ahead of him, and that's a pretty big gap already. But Bell, he's going to go into final turn. He's gone wide. Waldron up the inside. So Taylor Waldron takes second place straight back from Bell. And all that's giving Mitchell McLeod a bit of a gap at the head of the pack. So it's McLeod leading from Waldron, Bell, Waldron, Alexander, Cleal, and McLeod. So both Waldrons and both McLeods in that breakaway lead group as it stands. Meanwhile, that's Anthony Cleal looking to the inside of Paul Alexander on the way out of Anson's. And that's Michael Bell looking to the inside of Taylor Waldron on the way into the bus stop. Bell now retakes second place as Mitchell McLeod gets even further away on the way up to midgets again. Bell's wide and that is because Taylor Waldron's up the inside of him again. So Waldron back to second. These two chopping and changing positions and all of it is allowing Mitchell McLeod to just drive away up the road in the lead. He's back now to David Watts. That's Stuart Gray getting a bit of a bump over the curb. And Rob Mortimer having to jump off the track in avoidance. So Mortimer losing out there as Watts goes through as well. Behind the grandstand for another time. Mitch McLeod leading ahead of Waldron, ahead of Bell, and that's Anthony Cleal now looking at David Waldron for fourth. Meanwhile, Stuart Gray up the inside of Ron showing through Winger's dip, and David Watts following him through, going blow for blow between Watts and Gray. Now up ahead of them is Russell O'Neill, the number five, and Paul Alexander ahead of O'Neill. Alexander defending against O'Neill, very tough nut to crack, and Russell O'Neill finding out the hard way right now. David Watts looking at the back of Stuart Gray, O'Neill looking to the inside, and Gray leaves the door open, Watts going to go down the inside of Stuart Gray, so David Watts in the 31 gains a place, so they come around to start another lap, big train there for basically 7th back, or 6th back as it seems right now, it's through they go around Johnny's once again. Now here on the exit of Anson's, Mitchell McLeod leads still ahead of Waldron, Bell, Cleal, Waldron, McLeod. Now David Watts looking to the inside of Russell O'Neill on the way into the bus stop. The number 31 goes ahead of the number 5. And now Watts' next target is Paul Alexander. He's got through midgets. Alexander going for the late apex to get the run out on the run down to climb it. 
I'm, oh, Alexander's gone a bit wide there. What's up the inside? That's put him on the outside for the final turn. Now he's going to try and switch back underneath Paul Alexander, who covers him off brilliantly. Alexander holds off David Watts for another lap. There they are, starting to lose a bit of ground against Duncan McLeod and David Waldron. But that pack is growing. There's already five carts in the line there. Kevin O'Neill running at the back of the field. Glad to see he fixed his running problem from heat number two. As McLeod looking at Waldron already. Watts having a look at somebody. That was Stuart Gray. And Kevin O'Neill having a look at Alex Fortune. Meanwhile, Michael Bell up a curb trying to get past Taylor Waldron. And through goes the number one, Anthony Cleal. Hill's been a bit quiet so far today, but starting to move his way up through to the front. He's up to third in heat number three, as Mitch McLeod still leads. But Taylor Waldron starting to close the gap, and the top four starting to close up. As there's Toby Cook ahead of Ron Schoen, and Alex Fortune and Nigel Vickery, the, or the novice and former novice, going into battle. Back to the front, the top four as close as that. It's David Watson, Stuart Gray. And that's Robin Stones up the inside of Alexander, but he's going to overshoot at Winger's dip. Paul Alexander back ahead of the number 65. And meanwhile, back to the top four. Bell looking at the back of Cleal. Waldron defending some thin air on the way into midgets, it seems. But Mitchell McLeod definitely being reeled in as it stands. Round climate they go. One, two, three, four. Through Tollies and across the line to start another lap. You can see Cleal starting to reel Waldron back in. Definitely always a threat is Anthony Cleal, got much more experience than the three drivers around him. As Duncan McLeod and David Waldron both going into battle there. That's battling over fifth place, the dad of Mitchell McLeod and Taylor Waldron. So a Waldron versus McLeod battle for the lead and for sixth. Ray and Watts closing in. That's Toby Cook looking to the inside of Robin Stollert Stones. And David Good looking at the back of Ron Schoen on the way into the bus stop. Now back up to the lead. Ryan Climate once again. Mitchell McLeod definitely starting to be caught. One, two, three, four. They're all closing in now as across the line to start the last lap. You see the board out on the left at the Marshall's post. Can Mitchell McLeod hold off Taylor Waldron? Can Waldron hold off Cleal? Can Bell do anything at all? He's the top four as close as that. Waldron looking to the outside at Winger's dip. Going to try and switch back for Anson's, but Mitchell McLeod puts his cart in the right position. Has a quick look over his shoulder to see if he's got to worry about Waldron, but Bell up the inside of Cleal, having to slide out of it on the way into the bus stop, and that's going to drop Bell behind. Waldron looking to defend from Cleal and attack McLeod at the same time. As they go now down towards Climate for the final time, Mitchell McLeod staying in the lead, it's only the final turn to go. Waldron's going to try and get the run, but out the final turn and across the line to win is Mitchell McLeod from Waldron, Cleal and Bell. And now there's the checker flag waving, that's Paul Alexander heading a big train. He's going to hold off against Toby Cook with Sarita Shones in there as well. And then further back, Alex Fortune down the inside holds off. That's Nigel Vickery and Kevin O'Neill in there as well. But across the line for the results, Mitchell McLeod took the win ahead of Taylor Waldron and Anthony Cleal. Michael Bell crossed the line in fourth, but he also failed the post-race weight check. A very hot day today has already claimed two drivers for losing just a bit too much weight out on track. That's going to promote David Waldron up to fourth ahead of Duncan McLeod, David Watts, Stuart Gray, Paul Alexander, Toby Cook, Sarita Schoen running out the top ten ahead of Russell O'Neill, with Ron Schoen ahead of David Good, and then Alex Fortune holding off Nigel Vickery, Kevin O'Neill, Robin Sarrett Stones, and Rob Mortimore there at the end of the race. And now we, uh, that was the scrutineer just checking everybody's front bumpers, and we're underway for heat number four. And there's the starter sending us around for one more rolling lap before we begin Heat 4. And heat 4 is going to have Rob Mortimer on pole position. Alongside him, Paul Alexander. And behind them, Ron Schoen and Anthony Cleal on row 2. Ahead of Duncan and Mitchell McLeod. Taylor and David Waldron with Michael Bell and Sarita Schoen rounding at the top 10. They're looking at Ron Schoen, the number 13, starting up in third place. as a round Winger's dip and out of Anson's. The marshals directing the drivers to get into a slow 2x2 two two rolling start. And you see at the back number 50, Alex Fortune. This is going to be his final heat as a novice. So he's hopefully going to be sending those plates out with a bit of a bang. As a round through the cut through. And get ready to start the race. And away we go. And a good start from Mortimer. Beats Alexander into turn 1. Cleal up into 3rd. 
bit like a poor start from Ron Schoen and sure enough Mitch McLeod up into fourth place with Schoen in fifth and everybody else in behind. There's David Watts on the inside of Sarita Schoen and Michael Bell and David Morgan side by side. Here's Anthony Cleal now up the inside of Paul Alexander into the windy pit. Several drivers going side by side there including Kevin Russell O'Neill. Now on board with Michael Bell and that's Ron Schoen to our left as we go through the bus stop. Bell up another position, Schoen down another position. Side by side ahead as well. I believe that's Mitchell McLeod and Paul Alexander. A little ways up the road there, battling over third place. As Anthony Cleal now has taken the lead, so around the final turn, Anthony Cleal leads over the line with Rob Mortimer right behind him. Mitch McLeod in third ahead of Paul Alexander, Duncan McLeod and Taylor Waldron in the breakaway six. Michael Bell in seventh, the most positions gained on lap one ahead of Ron Schoen. And David Waldron and Toby Cook running up the top ten. Time to win yours. Anthony Thiel leading. Thiel's starting to bunch up now. Ron Schoen at the head of this huge train that encompasses the entire rest of the field. And now on board with David Watts, who is one of the drivers in that train. He's behind number 17, Sarita Schoen. We go up two midgets. Watts looking left. We're looking right as well, trying to pass Schoen, but Schoen gets the exit. Just up ahead, that looks like David Waldron defending against Toby Cook. Sure enough, Cook to the inside, and David Watts to the inside as well. Watts makes the pass against Sarita Schoen, and side by side, David Waldron holds off Toby Cook for the time being. The Waldron keeps hold of that ninth place ahead of the two Tony Carts. And side by side, that's Robin Stoddart Stones and Russell O'Neill. O'Neill trying to switch back to the inside. Back down to Winders. Let's see who arrives first. It's Robin Stoddart Stones. Sure enough, everybody else is still nose to tails. Now we're back on board with David Watts through the bus stop. That's David Waldron ahead of us, and ahead of him is Ron Schoen. Schoen looking, trying to make sure no one's alongside, and David Waldron sticks his nose in. Schoen leaves him room. David Watts going to follow through as well. So Ron Schoen there getting hung out to dry. We go through midgets, through climate, and then down to the final turn. Cleal's still out leading from Mortimer and McLeod. And then Ron Schoen, look, he's dropped a load of places. Ron Schoen getting hung out to dry too. He's lost five spots from that one move. As Toby Cook, Sarita Schoen and Stuart Gray all followed through. Now Schoen under pressure from Russell O'Neill behind. Back up towards the front. That's Taylor Waldron up to second place ahead of Mitchell McLeod. Mike Bell and Paul Alexander banging wheels on the exit of Anson's. As through the bus stop they go. Alexander now defending. At sixth place, Bell looking to the inside. Alexander's going to close the door and they touch. Around goes Paul Alexander. He's going to be off and there he is on the left. Back to Russell O'Neill. But that's going to be bad news for Alexander. Dropping all the way back down to the back of the field. And that's going to give Bell a five second penalty as well. Almost certainly for a front bumper infringement. But Taylor Waldron now up into second ahead of Rob Mortimer. Mitchell McLeod right on the back of that, uh, that little train. As a round Winger's dip and Axon's beyond. Mortimer's got a problem. That's a hand up in the air. He's definitely going slowly. He's now back on board with Russell O'Neill. He's behind Sarita Schoen. You're a grey ahead of us with David Waldron. They pass Mortimer. Evidently a carburetta type problem based on how he's looking at it. Stuart Gray with the pass against David Waldron. And now Sarita Schoen trying to follow through as well. Not going to happen this lap at midgets. But Schoen looking to the inside still. David Waldron covers it off over Ryan Climate. But Cleal still leads from Waldron, then the two McLeods, Bell, and then David Watts up to sick ahead of Toby Cook. That's Russell O'Neill all over the back of Sarita Schoen, and Robin Stoddart Stone's in there as well. So a good four car battle. And then back behind that, that's Ron Schoen defending off of Nigel Vickery and Kevin O'Neill. Back down at Winger's Dip. Russell O'Neill looking for the run on Sarita Schoen go into the bus stop one more time. David Waldron ahead. O'Neill gets the exit. He's going to look to the inside going up through midgets, but Sarita Schoen in the middle of the road covering that off. Good to see Mortimer's kept going. Possibly a throttle issue then based on that lap time, but across the line again, Cleo, Waldron, McLeod, McLeod, Bell and Watts. The top six. And then there's Cook and Gray, and then this battle for ninth. There's Russell O'Neill to the inside of the Haynes loop. He looks like he's going to make that move stick for 10th place on Sarita Schoen. But Schoen's going to be back at him as they go on the way down towards Winger's Dip. Robin Slovak Stone's right in there as well, trying to capitalise on something. If it comes about, now we're back on board with David Watts. That's Mike Bell up ahead of us, the number 8. 
He's going to run a little bit wide there, and that's going to let Watts close the gap. There's more and more going around on the hand throttle. That could leave Bell vulnerable, and sure enough, it does. It's up the inside of the final corner. Through Tollies, through goes David Watts, and they're going to start the final lap of the race. So Anthony Teal still leading, but Taylor Walden's been closing in on him. But Watts up to fifth ahead of Bell, and here comes Walden actually into Windsor's dip. He's been closing on Teal the last few laps. And Anthony Teal now under pressure on the final lap of this heat. And there we go to see the two McLeods, Watts, Bell, Stuart Gray, Toby Cook, and then there's David Waldron and Russell O'Neill. And then Robin Stone's all over the back of Sarita Schoen. Nigel Vickery and Kevin O'Neill battling hard. And we're back on board with O'Neill. Looking at David Waldron as they go through midgets one more time. Waldron strikes the curb. Going to run a little bit wide, but across the line to win just Anthony Cleal from Taylor Waldron. Mitchell McLeod finishing in third ahead of Duncan McLeod. David Watts, Michael Bell, Stuart Gray, Toby Cook. That's uh, David Waldron and Russell O'Neill across the line ahead of Stoddart Stones and Sarita Schoen. Nigel Vickery is going to hold off Kevin O'Neill, and Ron Schoen just about holds off David Good. Rob Mortimer finishes on the hand throttle, and Alex Fortune pips a recovering Paul Alexander to the line. So that is how the results are going to stay, other than a 5 second penalty for Michael Bell for the contact with Paul Alexander. And a 5 second penalty also picked up by Ron Schoen, who's going to drop in behind David Good, Alex Fortune and Paul Alexander. So he will finish Heat 4 officially in 18th place, whereas Bell dropped from 6th down to 9th. So Stuart Gray, Toby Cook and David Waldron, the number 14 in front of us, all benefiting from that. And now after that Heat 4, the results are going to be going away, they're going to be added up. And the grid for the final is going to be coming up momentarily. Let's see there we go, Mitchell McLeod has done the best over these four heats. He's going to be on pole from David Watts, then Anthony Cleal, Toby Cook, Taylor Waldron, Stuart Gray, Sarita Schoen and David Waldron tied. And in a tie break situation it's the best heat one result. So Sarita Schoen with an 11th beats David Waldron with a 12th, ahead of Duncan McLeod, Russell O'Neill, Robin Starrett Stones, Michael Bell, David Good, Nigel Vickery, Alex Fortune, Paul Alexander, Ron Schoen, Rob Mortimer and Kevin O'Neill is going to be the order that the final is going to be gridded up. And so with this grid being set, that is the first round of points scored for the NKRA Grand Final. So Mitchell McLeod will score zero, David Watts and everybody else behind scoring how they gridded. And so here we are now on board with Paul Alexander down in 16th place. You can see Nigel Vickery ahead of us there, the 67. And alongside him there are Alex Fortune. So Alexander and Fortune been evenly matched all day. They came down to a tie break. So they're going to be a good battle to watch for the final. So they're under starter's orders now. Mitchell McLeod leading everybody around with David Watts alongside. Anthony Cleal and Taylor Waldron in behind as the eyes are going to go up to the lights. And away we go. It's an early start. Good launch from Mitchell McLeod into the first turn leading ahead of David Watts. So here's side by side. That's Sarita Schoen and Duncan McLeod. And David Waldron. McLeod trying to go all the way around the outside. A little bit of contact there. Schoen's going to get back through. Russell O'Neill held up by that, and Robin Stuart Stones took advantage. Down into Winger's dip for the first time, it's McLeod leading from Watts, then Cleal and Cook is the top four. Everybody else still in battle, obviously something's happened to Alex Fortune as he's lost some time on the first lap. Here we are now on board with Alexander, looking at the back of Nigel Vickery as they go through the bus stop. Paul Alexander getting the run up towards Midgets, and up the inside goes Paul Alexander, the number 35. His next target is David Good, who's had a good start. He's up in 13th place. As up ahead of Good, that's side by side with O'Neill and Bell, as here we are on board with Taylor Waldron, who's running very tight at the final turn. Stuart Gray sweeping around the outside. As through goes Taylor's father, David Waldron, and he slides wide, so Taylor back up the inside. As uh, Waldron's switch not lasting very long, is up the inside for the lead. David Watts passes Mitchell McLeod on the way to Winter's Dip. So here we are now with Paul Alexander being put out to dry. Through goes Nigel Vickery again a change for the lead. Watts now leading ahead of McLeod. And this whole train now that we're in it with Paul Alexander, I think that's all in behind David Waldron up in seventh place. There's still everybody on top of each other pretty much. Just up ahead, Russell O'Neill peeking to the inside of Michael Bell, but nothing happening. Alexander now looking to try and size up Nigel Vickery once again is side by side. Once more is Bell and O'Neill as they go across the line to start another lap. 
Alex Alexander looking at... Oh, it's Nigel Vickery looking at the inside of David Good. And he's going to make that stick. Good going to back out of it. But here's going to come Paul Alexander on the run through Johnny's and down towards Winder's dip. Paul Alexander makes the place. He's in behind. That's Rob Mortimer and Ron Schoen running side by side through the shot. Now back up towards the front. On board with Taylor Waldron. He's now behind Stuart Gray who set the fastest lap of the race last time by. In the number 16 just up ahead. Gray recovering from a, uh, a hindered grid position due to a Heat 2 disqualification. He's now got his eyes set on the back of Toby Cook. Meanwhile there's a change for second. That's Anthony Cleal up into second ahead of Mitchell McLeod. A side by side there. Bell and O'Neill again. And Russell O'Neill retakes the 11th place that they're fighting over. They're in behind Robin Stark Stones. Already can see a top six group beginning to eat away from seventh back. That's David Waldron, Duncan McLeod, Sarita Schoen and co. And then Nigel Vickery has his train as now we're back on board with Taylor Waldron and Stuart Gray ahead of us and they've all caught right up to Toby Cook and Mitchell McLeod. So the top group all concertineering up as here comes Paul Alexander up the inside of Vickery through midgets. Nigel Vickery defending round the outside and gets the run off the corner on the way down to climb it. Nigel Vickery in the Gillard staying ahead of the Mad Croc as there we see him behind him that's Rob Mortimer passing David Good through the final corner and holding it through turn one but Good back up the inside. Here we see now the fight for third. Mitchell McLeod holding off Toby Cook. And Stuart Gray and Taylor Waldron tucked up tight behind him. And there's David Waldron, Duncan McLeod, Sarita Schoen and co. Back on board with Taylor Waldron. Looking at Stuart Gray who's looking at Toby Cook. And Mitchell McLeod defending off of all of these guys in third. is Waldron to the inside in the middle of midgets. That'll be a good move if it pulls off. And sure enough he does. Waldron up to fifth. Gray down to sixth. And now Toby Cook ahead of us is the next target for Taylor Waldron. Across the line to start another lap. David Watts hammering in purple laps, trying to open up a gap to Anthony Cleal. Now we're on board again with Alexander, looking once again at the back of Nigel Vickery. Go down towards the Haynes loop, Vickery runs wide on entry. Paul Alexander trying to stick his nose up the inside on the middle of the corner. Not going to work there, he's back up to Taylor Waldron. Looking very closely at the back of Toby Cook as we go into the bus stop. Cook starting to feel some pressure now from Waldron. He's going to need to try and find his way past Mitchell McLeod as soon as possible. Or else his fourth place could be under some serious threat from behind. Through Climate and now down the hill towards Tollies. And Waldron launches a move up the inside. And that's going to be a pass made for fourth place. Taylor Waldron up one ahead of Toby Cook. And Stuart Gray now looking to try and follow through. Back on board with Paul Alexander once again. Nigel Vickery just missed the apex. And Alexander closing up. And down to the Haynes loop once again. Alexander to the inside. Looked like he might have made that pass. As Duncan McLeod here. That's a move for seventh place against David Waldron. That fight's still not over. Six parts in a line. Russell O'Neill and Michael Bell at the tail of this train going at it once again between the two of them. As they go out of the bus stop and on the run up towards Midgets. Cloud ahead of Waldron, ahead of Schoen, ahead of Stillup Stones, ahead of O'Neill, ahead of us. As we go through Climate and now back on board, just up ahead with Russell O'Neill. Looking at the back of Robin Stillup Stones. Across the line we go, McLeod starting to eke away against David Waldron. And then in the next group behind, Alexander defending from, Paul, uh, from Rob Mortimer. Taylor Waldron now looking to the inside of Mitch McLeod down into Winger's dip and Taylor Waldron third place from Mitchell McLeod. As you can see there on the route to the bus stop. Paul Alexander now defending 13th from Mortimer. As in the bus stop we are on board with Russell O'Neill who gets borked by Stollark Stones. Bell to the inside up through Midgets and that could be a position gained. Russell O'Neill trying to switch back. We're going to run side by side down towards Climate. Mike Bell takes that 11th place from Russell O'Neill. See there, that whole group starting to spread out a little bit. It's Robin Stollark Stones is the next target for Bell. And then in behind, Alexander still holding off Rob Mortimer. Kevin O'Neill and Nigel Vickery battling hard. All 19 carts in this race, all battling hard. With the possible exception of Watson Cleo running on their own in first and second. Now Michael Bell looking at Robin Stollark Stones and trying to defend off Russell O'Neill at the same time. Just up ahead, Sarita Schoen trying to attack David Waldron and she's going to run slow through the bus stop. Stark Stone's looking for an opportunity, as is Bell. 
And only 25 seconds left on the clock, so there'll be this lap, and then one more before the last lap board. As Bell makes the pass on Stuart Stone, Stuart Stone's back down the inside through Tollies. Bell going to switch back. That's a change for 10th place. And now Russell O'Neill trying to follow him through. As he's now on the inside of Stuart Stones, they're going round the Haynes loop, but they're still side by side, and Stuart Stones holds the place through Johnny's. O'Neill trying to switch back to the left, switch back to the right. But now he tucks in behind as there's Rob Mortimer and there's Paul Alexander. That's a big offer. Johnny's he's gonna do well to keep that out of the wall, and sure enough he does. Bit of a coat brand moment there from Paul Alexander, and it's gonna drop him all the way back down to 16th place. And now Russell and O'Neill look into the inside of Robin Stuart Stones. They're going to be side by side, still on the exit. Slark Stones pulls ahead on the run through climate as the leaders start the last lap of the race. David Watts built up a 1.8 second gap as there he is, there's Watts. There's Teal in second, there's Waldron in third with a big slide and that's Stuart Gray attacking Mitchell McLeod. All change for fourth place, we're at the inside, McLeod on the outside, Toby Cook trying to follow them through and sure enough it looks like he has. And we're on the run up to the bus stop though, it's still side by side. Mitchell McLeod's leopard engine looking like he's pulled back ahead, but back up towards the front. Ryan Midgets for the final time. Ryan the right-hander of Climate. Down the hill towards Tollies. And the winner of the NKRA Grand Finals, David Watts crosses the line ahead of Anthony Cleal. Taylor Waldron's going to be in third place. Who's going to be fourth? It's going to be Gray from Cook from McLeod. Then Duncan McLeod. Mitchell McLeod ahead of Duncan McLeod. David Waldron in 8th ahead of 3 to show, and Michael Bell, Ro uh, Robin Sartre Stones, Russell O'Neill, Rob Mortimore comes through to finish 13th, Nigel Vickery holds off David Good, 14th and 15th, Alexander recovers from his off in 16th place, Alex Fortune 17th, and then he's going to be ahead of Kevin O'Neill and Ron Schoen, as you can see the full results there, David Watts takes the win on track, ahead of Cleal, Waldron, Gray, Cook. McLeod, McLeod, Waldron, Schoen, Bell, Stoddart, Stones, O'Neill, Mortimer, Vickery, Good, Alexander, Fortune, Schoen, and O'Neill. Now those points are going to be added to the grid position, and then that score will be added up with the blue challenge to get the numerical seedings for the next 12 months. But as it stands on track, David Watts wins the grand finals of the NKRA grand finals. Now there's going to be a quick turnaround, only one week before the Formula Blues are back in action at Clay Pigeon, so we will see you then. Well done, Taylor. Thank you. <laughs>